arrived in Paro this morning. I've met my friend who I met in Maldives. Pandian. So this is the valley of the Jung. Jung is where all the Jong. That's where the high government officials are. And above that is the museum that was ruined in the recent earthquake. Oh, Dopa, look, we found the we found the special place with all the Downtown. We're going to the archery in a while. Everything's beautiful. It's like Bali in the 70s. This big cock is chasing away the evils. That's a shop. What's in that shop? It's a grocery shop. Pretty paintwork. Each time you spin, uh, spin the wheel, you're spreading out the prayer for the whole humanity. That's very generous of you, Botanese. Uh, okay, in three, two, one, you are ready to go now. Mama done told me, my daddy did tell me, my mama done told me, don't take any more lollies from China, man. He's had two beers and he's now dragging me all out of town. I've got to go to shop and buy some butter and some incense now. They'll probably harvest my kidneys. If you never see this film, ring the police. Okay. I'm fresh air here. Hi. 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 This is a great shop. The name of the special Bhutan dressing gown, yes? Look. Gopal's now here being stud muffin in the textile shop and the lady is helping me select my my new wardrobe for the coming season and I've chosen this for the summer and then something for Bali a little bit risky to wear for special over here. It's a combination of the plaid and the canary yellow. Thank you. The interior of this budget hotel is something else. They do the combination Japanese disco palace funky time thing very well. These are the five kings. The present king who gets married in five days is believed to be an incarnation of the first one here. This sort of tweed. I saw Alexander McCall Smith at the airport the other day, arriving for the Glitterati Festival, and he looked just like this. Music in the distance. So we're going to go across the river to the temple now. These are monks coming back from the temple. Very Celtic mid. Turn the wheel. Very mid. Well, this is quite possibly the most beautiful garden I have ever seen in my life. Because there's the raging Paro frozen river screaming past. Keep it romantic there. Well, I wouldn't want to pray in any temple that would have me. Tourists are not allowed because there's obviously been desecrations. So I've sent Tanya in ahead to pray for me. I'll do a little prayer outside. Where the heathens pray. <laughs> Holy Spring, we had to drink three times and then splash it on our head just like in Bali. So in the afternoon, the temple park is popular for young lovers. Young love, young love. So after lunch today is the second day 
We're visiting, what's the name of this temple? This is called the Dungsi. Dungsi, because it's a conch shape. So this is the famous conch shell temple entrance gate. But inside there were four different groups of temple attendants. And that door just inside there was one group making special pastry offerings, votive offerings, which date from the time of the Bonism, which is the animistic pre-Buddhist Nepali religion when animal sacrifices were made. And the great architect of the Iron Bridge, who did all of the incredible carvings on the inner walls of this wonderful temple. And this symbol on the door here, which is a big chakra, no? Uh, this is Will of Dharma. The Wheel of Dharma, right. This Bodhisattva is carved into the slate. We always have this little run of fabulous objects, little stupas, little clay stupas. Right, this is the money wall. And what, why is it called the money wall? It's called Om Mani. Mani Om. Om. My father used to write that in his letters. The Bhutanese Chainsaw Massacre. This house, Buddha being the first of Buddha, Vishnu, the god of the mountains as well, but here the manifestation. Guru. So here's a fairly typical Bhutanese house. The meats are dried in this top loft portion, the ceiling portion, the green portion, living quarters, kitchens and things below. And here we have the stables and the cow sheds and things out the back. Bhutan is a contented cow. Artistic license. Oh, that's not very nice. Cow abuse. What sort of a Buddha is that? <laughs> so here at Drugalzog we have this unusual stupa. This tree color symbolizes uh, Buddha of three families. Yellow symbolizes wisdom, Buddha of wisdom. The white for Buddha of compassion. And the black for Buddha of power. So Buddha of three families. I don't know photography allowed, but we have a symbol of protection here. It's a bit of a museum thing. So as soon as you go in, you see the, the cattle. I love that little, that chain there, that traditional handle. Hear the mating call of the urban republican. Here we are on our morning quest to find some beauty around Timpu. This is the entrance for the, uh, the, the buffaloes and the cows. And it's got a lovely Garuda on the, on the door protecting an amulet. This is the special traditional ladder to go up where they store all the rice up in the loft up here. Hi! It's a great house! This is a traditional loft. The problem opening it up. It's a wooden sort of a thing. Hello, Zambo! What a healthy man. Of course, very chic. He's got the Argyle socks, which are Bhutan houses. People watch PlayStation! most popular television show. Even the Aunt Bank Dunny has a lovely little view window which is very civilized. Wonderful colour schemes. And these are the kings, these are four kings. First king, second king, third king. Why didn't why no fifth king? <laughs> and these are all the royal palaces, including Lhasa. This is all Tibet. Have they been to Tibet? Look at this wonderful yak horn. This is pretty good. Didn't expect anything like this. Doing his Hail Marys. Oh, Priest 
over here bring the special offerings. On another perfect day in the high Himalaya kingdom of Bhutan. Now the pictures of the king and the queen are up on all the houses. Tomorrow's the royal wedding. So everything's in preparation. The chilies are out here. There's chilies for eating. Let's keep away the evil spirits. Hi boys. Downtown people are right. And they are eating their ghee because we are in down, downtown. So not only do we have the, all the real people, on the corner we have the beautiful Zong. Bliss, it must be love because Bhutan feels so good. I could wear, wear it like a glove, even the tourists are attractive. I gave you the best years of my life. I beg your pardon, I never promised you a rose garden. Looking to wish a royal couple a very happy wedding and peaceful life ahead. So in Bhutan, all the restaurants, the nice restaurants, have a little lounge area. Apparently, people like to have lunch watching the television. Bhutan Idol. Just in case you thought there was a corner of the world that Michael Jackson had influenced. <laughs> this is this is pretty funky. Funky time. Korean music. standard Bhutanese lunch. We have the dried um, beef with dried uh, spinach. This incredible thing which they call chili and cheese. I get to work out what the cheese is. That is a vegetable a pork dish. That was the yummy pork which is in here. Hardy once told me that you can judge a country by the views from the pisswar window. Look out the window. And not bad. Okay, I found Tara. I'm gonna find my brooches now. I'm looking. Oh, he's here. Hi. Oh, whoops. <laughs> right here, sir. Now do the the Goyang Jongkok. You have to dance, and you have to go down like that, and then down, down, down. Get dancing now. Down, 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 down. Back up again. Up, 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 up. Really, Gopal will do anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're opening a spark on three fingers. That's obscene. And this lady's husband was your roommate? How many roommates have you had? And you had a Balinese roommate in... No, but when you were in uh, work at the Como Shambhala Spa in the Maldives, you had a Balinese roommate. And did he wrap himself around you at night like the Balinese do? Did he touch you inappropriately? I think he's a hypocrite, don't you? Look, what's this filth? It's a good thing the missionaries. It's a good thing the missionaries didn't come here. 